Hi guys, this is a vacuum uh, pump I'm going to use for the power brakes on my car. Uh, I got this off eBay for about a hundred bucks. Uh, strange how expensive these are. I think a lot of uh, EV uh, people who convert EVs buy all buy up all the 12 volt vacuum pumps on eBay, so they're at a premium. They're normally about 150 for a for a pump like this. Anyway, let's uh, turn this on, see how it runs. Too bad. A little bit noisy. Uh, I think I'm going to add a muffler on the discharge. There's quite a bit of noise from that. It's a bit quieter when you put it under vacuum. Um, it'll pull about 21 inches, almost 22 inches mercury. That's pretty good for uh, brakes. Um, got a little uh, vacuum switch from EV Parts. This is this will uh, turn the pump on and off. Um, See, I've probably got to remove this manifold. Don't really need that. Uh, yeah, built the discharge muffler. Um, the other pump I was, I was originally going to use this uh, thing I got from Princess Auto, but this is a 240 volt AC pump. Uh, I was originally going to run it off an inverter, but it wouldn't start uh, with a, I guess you call it a head of vacuum. So that uh, idea was sort of abandoned. It was, Sort of, I was, I've been running the car so far without power brakes, and since it's such a light car, it's okay. But anyway, that this will be going in the car soon. Uh, let's open it up and see how this pump is built. We'll probably also take a look at uh, this one. Here's the um, crankshaft. Let's see if we can get some better light on this. Yeah, there we go, quite simple. I believe this is a diaphragm pump rather than a piston pump. Very large uh, diaphragm on this one, at least compared to the other one. And let's get the top uh, cylinder head off. There we go, there's the diaphragm. Looks like it's, uh, the cylinder head holds down the rubber bit. Get it to come up. Yeah, this rubber is just loose around there. And simple reed valves uh, in this end. Let's see if we can run this slowly. Probably not good to go too fast. Well, that feels interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the other pump now. This one looks uh, much better quality with Torx screws. Now, see if we can find the right size. <clears throat> Crankshaft for this one. Um, similar to the other one, although uh, the the rotating part is on the other side, um, and a very much smaller uh, bore on this one. And it's not a diaphragm pump. This is some sort of uh, oilless piston pump. Let's get the um, cylinder head off this one. There's the top layer. Um, ceiling gaskets, I think the intake is the center one, the exhaust is the outer one. And there's the uh, piston. This is the, well, there's some reed valves. I put some grease on there because I was thinking they might have been a bit leaky. And you to hold this little ring down, but there's the piston moving. This is uh, some sort of, um, I'm not sure what the material is around the piston. It looks, almost looks like a cardboard. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure how long this thing will last without any oil. Yeah, I get quite a big difference in, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, pretty similar stroke between these two, but obviously the, the uh, DC one has quite a bit more displacement, quite a bit more area. Let's see, look at the insides. And here is the AC pump running for anyone who's interested. A little bit of a slow start uh, because that was 120 volts into 240 volt pump. Yeah, let's see what kind of vacuum it gets. Well, similar to the other pump, 22, maybe 23 inches of mercury, not much more. But definitely much less uh, volume, probably half the displacement. Because the discharge in this pump is quite noisy, I'm going to make up a muffler instead of some uh, PVC fittings. Probably just fill it with some uh, fiberglass or maybe some uh, cotton and drill and tap that for the NPT thread and probably put it off at an angle. That hopefully will uh, cut the noise quite a bit. Here is the muffler. Um, Right now it's just empty. Let's just do some quick comparisons to see how much uh, different fillers um, attenuate the sound. I'll set the camera's uh, audio automatic gain control off so the comparisons will be uh, accurate relative to one another. Here's no muffler for a reference. This is the muffler with no filling. Kleenex into the muffler and we'll see how that does. That's quite a big reduction, but the Kleenex is blocking up the airflow quite a bit. This time a couple of cotton puffs. Much quieter, although it seems to be blocking up the air somewhat. I think, yeah, the cotton puffs are being pushed all the way to work to the uh, holes, probably to put a layer of screen to stop them from uh, blocking up the holes. Under the car here, I've got this vacuum tank for the uh, power brakes. This is a 3 inch diameter ABS pipe about uh, about a meter long. Um, I've got a chain, I originally had a quarter inch hose, I'm going to up, upgrade that to a uh, 3 eighths inch plus another 1 eighth inch sense line for the pressure sensor. Because I think there will be a pressure drop across the hose that could cause the sensor to turn on the pump erroneously whenever you step on the brakes. It could also cause the uh, pump to oscillate on and off. I had to take the tank out to do this, there's no room to uh Get in under there. I'll just uh, make a second hole and tap this, and we should be good.
Okay, that's back in now. There's the final hose setup. Now let's put the uh, compressor, the vacuum pump in. Okay, it looks like the pump is going to fit pretty well right in this location. Uh, it came with this metal plate bolted to it, and these two holes line up almost exactly with these, so that's going to be pretty good. Have to drill another one to match up with one of these. And we'll have to see if any vibration isolation will be required. Time to do the wiring now. Um, ground just have to go to the vehicle chassis, and the positive has to go over to the uh, vacuum switch, and then over to the switched uh, 12 volt that's on and the vehicle's on. Pump seems to work fine. See where to put this vacuum switch. Um, probably just strap it on uh, somewhere up here, right where the vacuum hose comes out. And time for the hose now. So cut this one uh, coming up from the tank to length. And now we can turn the car on and see how this works. That seems to work pretty well, although it's quite noisy, especially from the inside of the car. I went looking around for vibration isolators and I found these uh, ones with a little rubber ring between two screws that are pretty much perfect at McMaster car. However, they're about $8 each and I don't want to spend that much, so I figured I can do the same thing myself. So let's go put these in and see uh, how well they work. Here's the pump noise without the vibration isolators. I was just giving the pump a quick test and it seems to have stopped pumping very effectively. I'm thinking uh, one of the valves may be stuck, so let's uh, check that out. Ah, uh, yes. You can see a little bit of uh, dirt has gotten under the valve. There's probably some dirt in the vacuum system. I probably should put a filter on this thing. Let's clean that out and see if it runs properly again. 
I installed a uh, spring here so that the, to counteract some of the weight of the pump because those uh, bits of hose were squishing quite a bit. Now it's not so bad. I also installed a safety strap so that in the probably relatively likely event that those things fail, I'll still have the pump when I get home. Anyway, let's see how noisy this thing is now. Oh, that's working better. That's a lot quieter than before. Let's do a comparison on the inside again. And here's the pump with vibration isolation. And the audio AGC on the camera is again turned off. That was pretty good. The, something's rattling around, making I think most of the noise you hear there is from a rattle, not the actual pump. I'll have to uh, see what that is. Oops, forgot about the hood prop. I'll have to uh, secure that in some other way. Anyway, that pretty much completes that installation. Um, one thing I don't like is this uh, vacuum switch has a very low hysteresis, only about uh, one, maybe one inch of mercury out of uh, the full vacuum, so it pretty much every time you step on the brake the vacuum pump comes on, which is kind of annoying because the reservoir or vacuum tank has enough capacity for the, for about four or five uh, brake pedal presses, so I'm going to try to find a valve with uh, a larger hysteresis. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.